Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. So, after a year of waiting, I finally got my Steam Deck reservation email around like three weeks ago, and I've had like a good two weeks to play around with this, like thoroughly. Stay tuned and please subscribe if you want, like, um, because I will be making like a full thought review, my, like my own personal review on the item. But just for this video, I wanted to focus on some accessories that I've got with my Steam Deck to help maybe some newcomers who are also getting their reservation email soon and like getting their Steam Deck soon. So without further ado, let's start with the first accessory, which is right here. And luckily enough, it just it comes it comes for free with the Steam Deck. Usually, no like companies do this, but Valve like supplied even the from the lowest tier model to the highest tier model. All the Steam Decks come with a really nice feeling hard shell case that protects your Steam Deck in a really well well covered like. It has a strap as well to easily allow you to carry it and it's really sturdy. A little back pouch uh, like pocket thingy to keep your maybe charger and a few accessories in. It has quite a bit of space in there. And um, yeah, other than that, it's a very minimalistic case. Very nice style to it. And the Steam Deck itself rests really safely inside of it. You want like the thumbsticks also like the whole thing has a cutout which will help protect your buttons and everything and the thumbsticks just fit in in a very cozy way. It also comes in with like a screen cleaner cloth thingy and it has a thing um, pull strap to just help you easily pull out the steam deck. And that's the inside of the case. So. As, for as long as cases go, I would say this is my favorite. I know there are other cases on Amazon and Etsy, but just at the moment, just for how simple and minimalistic it is, and it's a really good size as well. It fits in my bag, I take it to uni as well, and yeah, it, it fits fine. So for the next product, it's probably one of the most important ones in my opinion um, Steam Deck comes with a beautiful 7 inch screen and I'm sure no none of you want to scratch it or like damage it so for that in Amazon I found this product here it's really cheap around like uh, in UK money like just around like £9 I got it for it has a 9H super hardness and hydro I, I don't know how to say it. hydrophobic coating, anti-scratch, and also from experience I can say it does not affect the touchscreen at all in any way. And it's a very precise cutout. You won't need to worry about it like protruding. No bubbles as well. I, I I'm not really good at applying screen protectors, but this was my first go. Like I just put it on and it fit perfectly well. Next up for the screen, uh, for the Steam Deck, I've chosen a case, which I'm sure many of you like. It's a big device, and there's no telling like one day someone might accidentally just drop it. So for that, I've chosen this TPU case here. I'm not a fan of those silicone cases because they just wobble around and don't fit in. But this is like a hard shell case, and it adds a really nice grip to my Steam Deck as well. I also got this from Amazon and it's it was around like 12 pounds yeah 13 pounds I'll have a link down below in the comments as well it's a very simple packaging but really nice case I like the design as well at the back as a grip to it as well to make you be able to hold your Steam Deck much more comfortably Oh, and don't worry about like it overheating your console because it has the cutouts for your vents and fans and really nice like power buttons and volume as well. So here's my Steam Deck inside the TPU case now. Uh, let me just focus that. It doesn't add too much bulk to it or anything like that. Just a really nice 
protective shell for your Steam Deck to put, you give you like a peace of mind. Nice cutouts for the vents. You can still see the Valve logo. All your buttons will still work perfectly fine. Really easy to press as well. Yeah, everything's all good. So until the official Valve like Steam Deck dock comes out, which allows you to connect to a monitor and any peripherals you want, I went for a simple USB hub. It can, it takes in like all your normal USB ports as a SD card reader, micro SD card reader as well. And because it's type C, it just easily connects into your Steam Deck. And you can have, now you can just connect anything you need really. Like for example, here I have my mouse. And because the Steam Deck is a PC, I can now use it, use the Linux desktop, connect my keyboard in one place, for example. Now I can use a mouse, keyboard, anything you want. Any peripherals you need, you can just connect it. Really useful. I totally recommend a any USB hub you can find out there in the internet. There's there's some with like Ethernet ports inside of them, more ports than there's Type C ports, um, all kinds. But this I probably got the price of it wrong because I got this long ago. It's probably way less than ten pounds. Lastly, for the accessories, I've chosen a power bank because some games drain your Steam Deck's battery life really fast and I'm sure you all want like the extra juice. So for this, I've chosen the Basio 65 watt 20,000 milliamp battery bank. It has a nice little screen here to tell you just how much battery life you have left, how much uh, like watts are going through and stuff. But because the Steam Deck is capped at 45 watts per like to charge it, this is more than enough to charge your Steam Deck really fast. Even while you're playing a really demanding game, it still manages to like easily charge it like fast. For me, it lasted around like it managed to charge my Steam Deck twice fully from zero to 100 in like just like one hour, I think, or two hours. I'll have this power bank also linked down below in the comments and I got this for around like I got it on Prime Day so it was like a bit discounted I got it for like £49 I think it was Oh one more thing it's not too big as well like usually these kinds of capacity power banks are very big size but it's really small compared to the Steam Deck and portable as well I hope you guys found that video really useful and hopefully found an accessory to go along with your Steam Deck. And also, just one more thing, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon because I will be releasing a full review on this product and share my like thoughts and like any extra tips that I will have for like newcomers to the Steam Deck. So until then, see you guys next time. Take care.